okay tumble fast show what will it take for the left to form a and left to form a broader movement i studied ir and politics for three years and my conclusion has been that the enemy quote the enemy has consistently been better at overcoming their uh, aesthetic differences and focusing on what they share to organize and shape policy we have failed at this since neoliberalism took center stage what does the humanist left movement need in your opinion to finally get over our internal differences and step up on all social uh, societal levels those in the left need exactly the same thing that those in the right do and those in the center do and those outside of the spectrum do that all of humanity do we have to look at each other as human beings not as a category defined by centralized institution right and realize that that what we need as human beings in our lives is safety without the fear of having another nation bomb the shit out of you right we need education we need housing we need food security right so what we need in our lives right from the left from the right is to be left alone we have to get rid of censorship in all its forms right we need to be left alone be free to express our opinions have dialogue right with each other we need to look at each other and realize what we have in common and there is a lot of commonality there and one of the biggest things that the left and the right and the center and those outside of the spectrum all of humanity have in common is that we need to prosecute war criminals we need to hold power capital as power accountable we need to get um, full control of our monetary and fiscal policies okay i don't care if you're on the left you're on the right and there's more of course those are four things we need to do right we need to prevent wars from starting we need to as as uh, uh, oh what's his name uh, one of the greatest uh, historians howard uh, howard zinn as howard zinn has stated and man if you guys haven't listened to howard zinn listen to howard zinn his lectures read his material read his articles i haven't read any of his books but he's got a uh, books out there i've listened to a lot of his lectures his interviews and i've read his articles right but howard zinn said this right there's never a need for war there's only need for insurrection right so if you live in a country and your government says we have to go bomb the crap out of another nation to free their people right there you hit the streets general strike shut it down get rid of those people in power because you don't bring freedom with bombs okay so those are some of the things we need what we need on the left and the right and the center and outside of the spectrum at all the humanity need is not to look at the minute little differences between ourselves we we shouldn't look at the micro we need to look at the macro the larger picture and realize there's so much there that needs correcting that our little differences can be put aside right that's what we need and that's not going to take a year to do that's going to take decades to unfold let's say we start that from today right the left and the right and the center and those outside the spectrum all of humanity comes together and says we stand together right let's say we the movement starts today it's going to take minimum 30 years to undo the damage done in the last 100 years at least right in 30 years we can talk about the little differences 